major changes could be coming to the United States Social Security system that has provided retirement and disability benefits to millions of Americans for decades. Bipartisan legislation is being drafted in Congress that aims to modernize some of the outdated rules and policies that have negatively impacted many beneficiaries over the years. If passed, these reforms promise to revolutionize how Social Security operates, particularly for those receiving disability benefits. The Social Security Administration currently oversees programs that provide monthly financial support to over 65 million retired and disabled Americans. However, the rules surrounding disability benefits have trapped many recipients between difficult choices. Strict limits on how much can be earned from work before losing all benefits mean that most are unable to supplement their income through modest employment. For those with disabilities who wish to work, this often leaves them idle and struggling rather than being able to contribute to society and improve their quality of life. The proposed legislation seeks to directly address this issue by substantially raising the income limits under the Social Security Disability Insurance Program. If passed, talented artists, skilled tradespeople, and many others would be freed from the fear of losing crucial benefits by taking on a part-time job. Supporters argue this empowering change could have wide-reaching impacts. By enabling more recipients to work, we may see reductions in government spending and a boost to local economies over the long run as more individuals are financially secure and participating members of their communities. Another flawed policy the reforms target is how overpayments by the Social Security Administration have severely punished innocent beneficiaries. Due to errors in benefit calculations or outdated records, some have received more in payments than they were technically owed according to the rules. While unintentional, when the administration identifies mistakes, it demands all excess funds be repaid often totaling tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. For those living on fixed incomes, coming up with such large sums is impossible, leaving them in debt and financial ruin for the government's mistakes. To remedy this injustice, the proposed legislation establishes an appeals waiver process. This would allow individuals to apply for forgiveness of overpayment balances that they simply cannot afford to return. Supporters argue punishing people for errors outside of their control goes against basic fairness. The goal is not to let fraudsters off the hook, but rather recognize that the current zero-tolerance policy has caused undue hardship for many vulnerable Social Security recipients. On top of these key beneficiary-focused reforms, lawmakers also want to modernize how the Social Security Administration operates through investments in new technology. The proposal aims to bring clunky, paper-based processes into the 21st century with upgraded computer systems and streamlined digital services. This infrastructure overhaul promises to speed up claim processing, cut down on costly errors, and improve customer service for the millions relying on benefits each month. Gaining bipartisan backing in both chambers of Congress signals there is genuine political will to pass these Social Security reforms into law. While issues around costs and potential for abuse will need addressing, Supporters argue the societal benefits far outweigh short-term financial impacts. By better supporting individuals with disabilities and those who have paid into the system their whole lives, they believe the changes uphold the core values of fairness, opportunity, and dignity that Social Security was founded upon. The proposal represents a rare example of Republicans and Democrats finding common ground on an issue impacting all Americans much like the recent agreement on the latest round of $1,400 stimulus checks included in the American Rescue Plan. If approved, the groundbreaking reforms promise to revolutionize how the Social Security system operates, reducing barriers to independence for millions while modernizing aging infrastructure. Only time will tell if this bipartisan effort can truly deliver long overdue improvements to one of the nation's most important social programs. But after years of inaction, Advocates and beneficiaries now have reason for cautious optimism that help may finally be on the way. While these proposed reforms aim to modernize and improve the Social Security system, there are still challenges ahead. As with any major legislative undertaking, there will be scrutiny over the costs associated with these changes. Supporters argue that enabling more beneficiaries to participate in the workforce through reduced employment restrictions could actually lead to net savings in the long run. By working part-time, individuals would be contributing more to the economy through wages, taxes, and reduced reliance on other public assistance programs. 
However, critics may question these projections. Comprehensive cost analyses will need to be conducted to assure lawmakers that expenditures do not end up outpacing projected savings. Additionally, concerns have been raised over potential fraud risks if earnings and asset limits are substantially increased. While the goal is to empower deserving recipients, oversight will be necessary to prevent abuse of relaxed eligibility rules. Negotiating all the complex policy details to achieve broad consensus will undoubtedly face hurdles in such a polarized political environment as well. As with the recent American Rescue Plan, pushing major legislation through both chambers requires compromise. Advocates will need to work closely with supporters on both sides of the aisle to address competing viewpoints and craft practical solutions. Public opinion will also play a role, as building grassroots support for reforms could help apply pressure when disagreements emerge during the legislative process. If Congress can successfully navigate all of these implementation challenges, the impacts of modernizing Social Security could be truly transformational. By providing greater earned income opportunities, financial independence, and relief from unfair penalties, millions of lives stand to benefit. Those with disabilities who have faced barriers to contributing their skills and talents may find new doors opening to participation. And all Americans who have paid into the system their whole lives can take comfort knowing the social contract will be upheld to support them in retirement or times of need. Only time will tell if this rare display of bipartisan cooperation can translate proposed reforms into reality. But after decades of stagnation, Advocates and beneficiaries now have hope that long overdue changes may finally be within reach to strengthen this critical safety net for generations to come. While the proposed reforms aim to improve the lives of millions, some recipients remain concerned about how proposed changes could personally impact their benefits. For those who are older or have specialized needs, the idea of loosened restrictions may feel more threatening than empowering. Advocates will need to clearly outline protections and grandfathering provisions to reassure current beneficiaries that individualized support plans will not be disrupted. Communicating these complex policy details to the diverse population served by Social Security will also be a challenge. As the administration works to modernize digitally, ensuring access remains available through traditional telephone and in-person methods will be important for equity. Outreach must reach not just internet-connected urban communities, but also more isolated rural residents who rely on other access points. The timeline for implementing such wide-ranging changes poses risks as well, if not managed carefully. While moves to speed up the transition could have initial benefits, rushing upgrades without proper testing and training runs the risk of early disruptions or even unintended consequences. A smooth rollout will be vital to maintain public trust in the overhaul. With the 2022 midterm elections also on the horizon, there are concerns reforms may get caught up in election year politics as well. While bipartisan sponsors so far have demonstrated commitment to seeing the process through, competing priorities or campaigns could shift attention away. Advocates will need to keep a spotlight on the proposals to maintain momentum 